Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Exodus 33, verse 14 And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Psalm 127, verse 2 It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Proverbs 3, verse 24 to 26 when thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Exodus 34, verse 21. Six days shalt thou work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In ear in time and in harvest thou shalt rest. Psalm 37, verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man that bringeth wicked devices to pass. Second Chronicles 20 verse 17 Ye shall not need to fight this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Psalms 4 verse 8 I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalm 46 verse 10 to 11 Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Silla. Jeremiah 31, verse 25 For I have satiated the weary soul, and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. Isaiah 40, verse 28 to 31 Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. 
They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Romans 15 verse 13 Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Psalm 91 verse 1 to 2 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Genesis 2 verse 3 And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Psalm 94 verse 12 to 14 Blessed is the man whom thou chasteneth, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hebrews 4 verse 9 to 11 There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as God did from his. Let us labour therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 6 Better is an handful of quietness than both hands full with travail and vexation of spirit. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 Be careful for nothing but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Proverbs 3 verse 24 when thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Isaiah 26, verse 3 to 4 Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. 
Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Isaiah 32 verse 17 And the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness quietness and assurance forever. Psalm 116 verse 7 Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with thee. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Psalm 3, verse 4 to 5. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Silla. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. Zephaniah 3 verse 17 The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Proverbs 19 verse 23 The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that have it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Proverbs 17 verse 1 Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than an house full of sacrifices with strife. 1 Peter 5 verse 6 to 7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Isaiah 14, verse 3 to 4 And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. First Chronicles 16 verse 11 Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. 1 Kings 5 verse 4 But now the Lord my God have given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent. Psalm 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever. Psalm 62 verse 1 to 2 Truly my soul waiteth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defence. I shall not be greatly moved. 
Hebrews 4, verse 15 to 16. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Psalm 62, verse 5 to 8 My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defence, I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Silla. 1 John 3 verses 9 to 24 and hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. John 16, verse 33 These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Psalm 121 I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, and even for evermore. Exodus 14, verse 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Galatians 3 verse 26 to 29. 
For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ's, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Isaiah 41, verse 8 to 14. But thou art my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that are incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, said the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Lamentations 3, verse 22 to 26. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Romans 12 verse 2 And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12 verse 12 Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Psalm 100 verse 3 Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Psalm 27, verse 13 to 14. I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Exodus 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. 
Galatians 6 verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Isaiah 43 verse 1 to 3. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Saviour. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Mark 11, verse 23 to 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he hath said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. Psalm 107, verse 28 to 29. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Romans 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8 Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have not I commanded thee, be strong, and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have, For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 16-17 Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God, even our Father, which hath loved us, and hath given us everlasting consolation, and good hope through grace, Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 And the Lord, he it is, that does go before thee, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. Psalm 9, verse 9 to 10. 
The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Psalm 16, verse 8 to 11. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures for evermore. Psalm 32, verse 6 to 8. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Silla. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Psalm 145, verse 18 to 19. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Proverbs 18 verse 10 The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Isaiah 12 verse 2 Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Matthew 6, verse 31 to 34. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Luke 12, verse 6 to 7 Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Luke 12 Verse 25 to 26. And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Luke 12, verse 32. Fear not, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 
John 15 verse 4 to 5. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. John 15 verse 7 to 8 If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. Philippians 4, verse 12 to 13. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. Psalm 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever. Psalm 94 Verse 17 to 19. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said my foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Colossians 3 verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Proverbs 19 verse 23 The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Psalm 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. 1 Kings 8, verse 56. Blessed be the Lord that have given rest unto his people Israel, according to all that he promised. There have not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. Proverbs 1 verse 33 But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Jeremiah 33 Verse 3, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Psalm 131, Lord, 
my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quietened myself as a child that is weaned off his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Psalm 37, verse 3 to 6. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as as the noonday. Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiced. With my song will I praise him. Psalm 112. Verse 1 and 6 to 7. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. Surely he shall not be moved for ever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. John 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Job 13 verse 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. Nahum 1 verse 7 The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Psalm 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Psalm 56, verse 3 to 4. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do to me. Proverbs 29 verse 25 The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Psalm 37 Verse 3 But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Psalm 13, verse 5 But I have trusted in thy mercy, my heart shall rejoice 
in thy salvation. Psalm 119 verse 165 Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Proverbs 16 verse 3 Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Numbers 23 verse 19 God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? 1 John 5 verse 14 to 15 And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Proverbs 16 verse 20 He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth the Lord, happy is he. Psalm 143 verse 8 Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 For we walk by faith and not by sight. Psalm 34 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, And the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around them that fear him, and delivereth them. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O fear the Lord, ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Psalm 31 
In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for an house of defence to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble, thou hast known my soul in adversities, and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbours, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life, but I trusted in thee. O Lord, I said, thou art my God, my times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them, that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvellous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love the Lord, all ye saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentifully reward the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm 25, verse 3. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Joel 2, verse 23 to 29. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty 
and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Psalm 126 When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Romans 10 verse 11 for the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus I bless you. Hallelujah God, creator and possessor of heaven and earth. I thank you for giving us your word. Thank you for giving us your son Jesus and showing such great mercy O oh, Sovereign God, thank you for blessing us with the Holy Spirit and making your home in us. Bless you for revealing your principles in your word and giving us the power to decree a thing and it is established. As we encounter the challenges in our lives, I ask that you release your power, that we may remain steadfast, that we may rest in you, that we may take the opportunity to shine your light when it gets dark and remember you and speak your word concerning that thing and see your kingdom come and your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven because we know that you mean us good and not evil and we trust you God. Jesus I thank you that you shed your blood for us and that your blood is upon us and our house O Lamb of God so that utter destruction may not be able to turn in but must pass over. Thank you for your unfailing love and grace that holds on to us and that your strength is made perfect in weakness. Help us to rest in you as we come to the end of ourselves and discover that we don't have the answers. We humble ourselves before you and our eyes are open to see your glory. I ask that you make your people sensitive to you in this season. Please increase our capacity to receive your revelation during our times of prayer and fasting. I ask that you speak to us so that as we resist the temptation to panic and despair, we will remain calm in you and receive your strategies and your instructions. Thank you for empowering us to rise up and take the authority over the enemy in your name, O oh Jesus. I ask that you refresh us where we need the refreshing. Please fill us where we need refilling. Reset us and restore us so that as we come through and overcome our challenges, we come out better than before as pure gold. Please remove every bitter root that we won't become hardened by the things that we encounter. Remove the stones from our hearts, I pray. Let your living water flow out of our bellies as we praise you and worship you in the midst of our circumstances and allow the balm of Gilead to wash over us and mend every broken heart that is placed in your hands. Heavenly Father, I pray that our hearts are strengthened. I pray that your word that we hear takes root in the fertile grounds of our hearts and are not stolen from us by the cares of this world, 
but go deep within us and take root, and in due season bear fruit, so that we may be a blessing to others and a beacon and a signpost to Jesus. More than anything, I pray that you will get the glory in every life, because what the enemy meant for evil, you have truly turned it around for good. Please put your anointing on this recording. Comfort and strengthen whoever needs this today. Thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.